Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2 o'clock to 2.30 p.m. session of the 2019 Open Simulator Community Conference. In this session, we are happy to introduce a presentation called The Basic Architecture of ResMela, a Virtual World Content Production System. Our speaker is Ramesh Ramlal. Ramesh currently leads Deep Semaphore LLC, an e-learning and simulation solutions company. Please check out the website found at conference.opensimulator.org for speaker bios, details of sessions, and the full schedule of events. This session is being live streamed and recorded, so if you have questions or comments during this session, you may send tweets to at OpenSimCC with the hashtag OSCC19. Welcome, everyone. Let's begin the session. And on behalf of Ramesh, I'm going to paste a link to a YouTube video. This is his presentation today. And um, it will also be on the media board behind him. Whichever one you see first, please go ahead and click that link to watch his presentation. Enjoy. Hi there. I am Ramesh Ramlal, the lead designer of the Resma system. I work with a group of exceptional people who've um, been directly involved in developing the Resmela system as it is today. And uh, I'll be presenting, you know, the basic system, uh, concepts of, of the Resmela system. The first thing that I'll be talking about is, uh, you know, what is an app. App, of course, is short for application appliance. The next topic I'll be talking about is uh, what is the Resmela heads up display. The third point would be for uh, for me to uh, go through a set of examples, you know, and load uh, you know scenes that I've created before. Um, then we'll dive a little bit into the main components of an app, okay? Um, we want to see how, exactly how users sign in. We want to see um, how an app is made, okay? And what, 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 is, what is it composed of? Uh, we'll do that very briefly. We'll look at the features that speed up content creation and in short, that's basically all kinds of snapping functions. Okay, you can have snap to grid, you can have a snap to object, and it's kind of intelligent snapping. Um, then we look at features that speed up exploration of content, uh, and that is uh, a set of, uh, of uh, functionalities that allow users to to look at uh, at objects from a from an optimal angle uh, and distance. Okay, we'll spend some time looking at the design of modules, and um, modules are basically what is the word I could use for that? Um, like a library, li libraries of objects. So an app has a library of objects that you can pick and choose from, and we want to show how it's made and then we'll get a chance to talk about uh, app sets. App sets are like mother apps. They are apps that have uh, um, other apps in the libraries. Okay, so they can generate, um, you know, baby apps. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting because you can have a whole environment with a very large complexity you know, um, made using an app set. Through this show and tell, we hope that uh, you will see how we are supporting diversity of content. We think that we not only are we are supporting diversity, we are also going to accel accelerate diversity of content. And lastly, we look at, uh, you know, how our approach uh, is squarely, you know, uh, trying to balance social and productivity functions. Okay, so that's a pretty long list and uh, let's go straight to 
the sandbox. I'm going to sign into the app. I get my HUD and the, the HUD is, uh, says meeting app and I am able to uh, create objects uh, in this uh, in this app. I have a whole list of categories okay and uh, these are basically grids that you can use so I could use uh, you know uh, an 8x8 eight eight grid for example and place it here and I can place uh, let us say uh, seating arrangements and you can see that you know the chairs are snapping to uh, to these locations here so so you have this snap to uh, to grid functionality here that that I guess is illustrated okay so I'm going to clear that and we are going to load an example scene so let me load uh, let us say a typical office uh, virtual office environment of course you would want to have this app in a building okay we've got other apps that are used to create buildings as well uh, 3d buildings okay so we'll get a chance to see that as well um, so here you have uh, you know browsers that were placed and uh, and uh, you know those um, items that, that that are in here you can interact with uh, with these items directly as well so I would say you know enter text and let's say uh, designing apps so that's one way of interacting with your with your app you of course have your you're able like to enter your data and your websites and everything and at the end of a meeting you can save it and you can have like uh, you can load it again um, at the next meeting if you want to get reminded about what you've done this is another example where you have uh, non-player characters so you can create as many non-player characters as you want and uh, let me just place one here and you can use these characters and make them, uh, you know, let me select them and make them sit anywhere or and uh, you've got animation objects that you can deploy in the scene and you can animate them. This is a garden app, for example, and uh, you would notice that the the HUD has changed to, to match this uh, this other app and you, you will also see that it has uh, its own category of items that 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 you can use okay so we'll it's got a fairly long list of items that you can uh, you know you can see um, oh that's a big one so you can uh, resize and you know you have a lots of functional functionalities you know so uh, those are big rocks and I'm going to resize it uh, let me just bring it bring it down if you want to uh, let us say uh, randomize I think that's in settings you can go into the random mode and if you want to add let's say more rocks let's keep this one or we just make it smaller resize minus 50 percent and uh, now if I want to place that rock again you can see the orientation and the sizes kind of change and you can you kind of have an organic shape 
All right, so that describes uh, randomness and you can also use this for for trees and and plants, okay? Next I'm going to load uh, a, a few scenes. Let me load um, you know a garden. All right. So this app set is going to uh, to raise a garden app and the garden app will load its own scene right so you have this little garden here with a, a fountain and trees and flowers etc and you can see that we have used you know all this has been created very quickly we've used the randomization function that would place the flowers so that it really looks very, uh, you know, organic, the stone and the path. Um, let me see if I can show you how the path is constituted. So I'm going to sign into the garden app. So I am, I am in the garden app and let me go into the create menu. And you can see you know, the whole list of objects that are available. Um, let me see the path. Okay. So you can see, um, you know, how with these different pieces you can, you can, uh, you know, make a, a, a particular path. Okay. Um, so that's, that's interesting. And, uh, Now in the context of, uh, within the context of an app, you can actually create a little uh, a scene and then you save that as a, as a file. But here is something more amazing. You can actually go into uh, the mother app, the app set. Okay, so I'm going to load another scene and you will see what I mean. So what's going to, ha to happen here is that we have a, a, a kind of a meta scene that that has data about you know the 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 child uh, apps that were deployed, and each of these child app is a is a garden app. And you can see that by just simply taking these apps and uh, and playing with it a little bit, reorienting it, you get uh, you know a whole different scene, a nice pattern. Okay, and uh, I think that's that, that, that's an interesting result. Okay, so I'm going to uh, <coughs> describe uh, how we are how we. Uh, you know the, the 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 snap to object functionality within the context of the molecules app. So I'm logging into the molecules app and I'm going to create, let's say, uh, a methane uh, molecule. Methane molecule CH4. I'm going to place um, a vertical bar here just because I want to make sure that the carbon atom is at some height and I'm going to stick the the carbon atoms the carbon bonds not carbon bonds the bonds to uh, the carbon atom and make sure that we have this uh, tetrahedral shape with the bond angle being 109.5 degrees and then I'll be sticking the hydrogen atoms in here and we have our methane molecule. Of course an exhibit is not complete without uh, you know some signage so I'm going to place uh, you know, an image maybe here in this corner 
and uh, I'm going to make sure that this is reduced a little bit, it's too big, and uh, maybe have uh, a text. Um, text, text, not image. So I'm going to go and have uh, a floor sign maybe here. And that's going to say uh, methane molecule. Let's see if there is some text wrapping happening. Yeah, you can actually write a whole paragraph of text and it's going to resize everything automatically. And I'm going to stick an image here of methane gas uh, tanks. Okay. So so this is like, you know, just an example. So you could see how quickly you can click cre create these things. Okay. It's not too complicated. And of course, you know, you have these uh, snap to view um, data. Let me let me log into this one, this app set, and uh, and load the the chemistry lab. Let me try. It. Okay, you have the. You know, this whole building that uh, that is just coming up. And notice how the, you know, the objects are raising and just like falling, falling at the right place. You know, as needed. And you can see um, in this uh, scene, you can already see the 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 child apps it has been using the first one is the the 3d text app which is here you can actually see this is the 3d text app that you're using it you're using it to label the building and then you you can have uh what i call uh the the molecules app it's an app that allows you to create uh molecular structures very easily and uh, you know, it's got it's got some very interesting auto, uh, snapping functions that allows you to uh, to connect all these objects together very rapidly. Um, you know, you have another another aspect where you can actually that's important. You have at the head uh, the 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 snap to view function that allows you to. Uh, to look at the various object. Okay, so if I'm interested in a particular picture, I can pretty much do that very, very, very rapidly. And that holds for even, uh, you know, the specific atoms. And uh, there's a poster in the background, so you can see you know there are two levels of zoom here, even that. So if your your object can actually specify whether it's it makes sense for 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 it to be seen at uh, at different distances. Okay, so that that is an example of uh, of, of of the app set. Okay, so you can create a chemistry lab using appsets, and uh, so one of the advantages of having you know this kind of environment is that you can have a group of students log in into the environment, and uh, they will be able to sign into their own workspace and. Uh, without interfering with, uh, you know, the work of their peers. So I think that's that's a, a really a big advantage. One of the things I really love with the Rezmela system is that it really allows you to create, you know, great looking 
spaces, especially the the the, the snap to object functions, is quite uh, you know is something I love a lot. Okay, so you get to see you know all these different. Uh, Basically, that's that's a, a rooms app example. Okay, so let me just clear this here. So I'm going to sign into this one, and we are going to load, uh, let us say, a museum. And after a while, you will find that you have like a a, a rain of of little apps that will come, and uh, and there you go, the the whole museum appears. Okay. So you can immediately recognize that this scene is composed of a number of uh, child apps. One of them is the 3D room app. Then you have what I call uh, the exhibit app. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, one of the NPCs that were raised before just found me. Um, and so in the snap to view mode, you can um, look at various artwork. And automatically the, the, the images will be centered, you know, as, as, as you want it to be. So, uh, so that's, that's, you know, another interesting aspect. So what we did we learn here? We learned that it's possible to, to create very quickly, uh, large scenes very easily and, uh, museum settings very easily and, uh, to navigate to one of the rooms across the, the sea over there. Uh, I wanted to make it easier for, for, for people to do this, so I just go into my, uh, my view and uh, jump mode, and if I click, I would actually end up directly into this room. Okay, you can do this for pretty much any room you want. Okay. So this is kind of a, of a, of a neat thing, okay? And uh, so this clearly for us exemplifies uh, or embodies our approach of doing more with less, our approach of uh, designing virtual environments based on the economy of motion principle, okay? And I think that by doing so, we will be able to balance social and productivity functions. Thank you, Ramesh, for a terrific presentation. As a reminder to our audience, you can see what's coming up on the conference schedule at conference.opensimulator.org. Following this session, the next session will begin at 2.30 p.m. in this keynote region and is entitled, Using the ResMela System to Make Creative Scenes. Also, we encourage you to visit the OSCC 19 Poster Expo in the OSCC Expo 3 region to find accompanying information on presentations and explore the Hypergrid Tour resources in OSCC Expo 2 region, along with the sponsor and crowdfunder booths located throughout all of the OSCC Expo regions. Mm -hmm.